welcome. My name is Chris Tonieri. I'm the Public Information Officer for the City of Pittsburgh's Public Safety Department. Today we are gathering to witness the swearing-in ceremony for six new paramedics and two new crew chiefs. Before we begin, I'll ask everyone to please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag, flag of the United States, States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Before the oaths are recited today, uh, we will have three speakers, beginning with EMS Chief Ron Romano, Associate Medical Director Vince Macesso, and Public Safety Director Wendell Hisrick. So, without further ado, Chief Ron Romano. Good afternoon. Thank you for all being here with us today. I want to welcome the family and friends of the crew chiefs and paramedics being sworn in today, and thank you for being here for them and supporting them in the work they do for the citizens of Pittsburgh. I thank you for sharing them with us and understanding when they miss a family event because they are out helping someone else. And not only are we swearing in the new paramedics who have finished their probation, it's uh, very happy to congratulate the two new promotees to crew chief, uh, first time during my administration. I want to thank, as always, uh, the mayor, public safety director, and Dr. Massesso for their continued support. I want to introduce my administrative staff that's with us today, my Deputy Chief Gilchrist, Division Chiefs Everett and Lynn. I thank them for all their work also. If, uh, uh, hopefully HR is here with us, and I always throw a thank you out to them for all the hard work it is to get a, a hiring class taken care of. And the uh, FAP administration, those that are here with us today. And a special thanks to the EMS crews that are on the streets working so we could be here. I want to introduce Dr. Massesso. Thank you, Chief. Uh, Director Hissrich, uh, Chief Romano, all my EMS colleagues, and your family, friends, and guests. It is certainly a wonderful pleasure to represent Dr. Ron Roth at this ceremony and a great honor to serve as Associate Medical Director of Pittsburgh EMS. Uh, with me today is Dr. Sylvia Wusu, one of our Assistant Medical Directors. Today we recognize our new paramedics and those promoted to Crew Chief. Congratulations to each of you. Over 40 years ago, the men and women of Pittsburgh EMS were pioneers in the then new uh, emerging field of emergency medical services. Today, the men and women of Pittsburgh EMS are leaders on the forefronts of a new evolution in EMS. Today, we recognize that EMS sits at the intersection of public safety, public health, and health care. And there is an increasing appreciation of the role of EMS in an integrated health care system. What will EMS look like in, say, 20 years, when maybe one of our new paramedics is being sworn in as chief? Well, it's hard to tell, but I hope you will hear people say, EMS never did that before many times during your career. EMS in the future will have to be flexible and able to adapt to changing technology and healthcare. It must be reliable and socially equitable. EMS systems in the future must be centered on people, patients, providers, and our partners in healthcare. To those of you joining Pittsburgh EMS today, know that you and your colleagues will always be the most important part of EMS because of your dedication and your compassion to always do the right thing for the patient. And as Chief Romano said, your friends and families are a very important part of our EMS system because they support you so that you are able to serve. 
Thank you, family members and friends. We also want to say special thanks to Mayor Peduto and Director Hisrich for providing support so critical to our system, achieving and maintaining its well-recognized excellence, and to Chief Romano for more than 30 years of leadership, support, and friendship. And thanks to all of you for your commitment to a career of service. Thank you, Doctor. To our new paramedics and crew chiefs, family, doctors, and friends, welcome. I honestly have to say that this is probably going to be the highlight of my week, uh, having this swearing-in ceremony at promotions. I told the new paramedics at the very start that there are three things that I've asked, would ask them to do. Number one, is that you're now employees of the city and you represent the city day to day. And what you do reflects not only on yourself, not only on EMS, but reflects on the, the city. Treat individuals as you would want someone to treat your family members. And third, take time for yourself and your family. One last thing I would ask is that now you learn day to day from your colleagues good things on how to do things and ways to improve. And if you come up with new ideas, feel free to pass that on to your leadership. To our new crew chiefs, you're probably the linchpin of the city's EMS system. What you do on that crew day to day within the first few minutes will potentially dictate what happens for the next 20, 30, 40 minutes or the next hour and save lives. I can remember back in the old Stone Age when I was a paramedic, 1985 to 1990, and my crew chief, one of my crew chiefs was sitting behind me there, who hasn't changed other than a few more gray hairs, working out on Filbert Street gave me some advice, told me how to dress for my crew chief interview, and I still have those shoes. <laughs> I've only worn them once, but I guess I was successful because I was number one on the list. So if the chief provides you any guidance, I would listen to him. In most cases, in almost all cases, he's right in what he says. Members of EMS, probably in the next few weeks, we may be facing one of the most challenging times in EMS with the coronavirus. And it's been nonstop calls with both the county, state, local, and federal officials. And as we go down that path, we will learn day to day on things that we should have done or that we do correctly for people that follow us that may be in the same situation. And for that, ahead of time, I thank you. As we said, it may very well entail being away from your families more than what you expected when you signed up. Secondly, I'd like to thank you, the new paramedics, for being with the city of Pittsburgh. You had many other opportunities out there. Paramedics and EMTs are certainly in demand throughout the state and throughout the nation. And we certainly thank you for coming to Pittsburgh. The opportunities continue to be endless in the city. When I came in, the big thing was river rescue and the rescue truck. Now we have medics on motorcycles, part of the SWAT team, and part of numerous other advanced teams that exemplify cooperation within public safety. I'm very confident that you will continue to do a good job and as the doctor said, probably 10, 15 years, there's good likelihood that one of you may be sworn in somewhere in the leadership of EMS. So with that being said, I think the time has come that we now swear in our new paramedics. As I announce your name, if you would come up here and stand, and then we will administer the oath. Alexander Atkinson, 
Ian Leong. Ken Long. Isaac N Nadoff. Jennifer Pollock. Michael Semick. If you would, raise your right arm and state after me. I state your name. Do solemnly swear that I will support, obey, and defend the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution and laws of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. The laws and ordinances of the city of Pittsburgh and obey all orders issued by my superiors and all the rules and regulations pertaining to and governing the Bureau of Emergency Medical Services Department of Public Safety that as a paramedic I will well and faithfully discharge and perform all the duties of my office according to the best of my knowledge and ability. Congratulations, paramedics. Next is the crew chiefs. Fred Caprio, the second. Christy Zaluski. If you would, raise your right arm and state after me. I state your name. I Do solemnly swear that I will support and obey and defend the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution and laws of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, the laws and ordinances of the City of Pittsburgh, and obey all orders issued by my superiors, and all the rules and regulations Regulations. Pertaining, to and governing. pertaining to and governing the Bureau of Emergency Medical Services, Emergency Medical Services. Department, of Public Safety. Department of Public Safety that as a crew chief I will well and faithfully discharge and perform all the duties of my office according to the best of my knowledge and ability. Congratulations, crew chiefs. I'll let Chris finish up here, but congratulations and good luck and stay safe. Chris. Thank you, Director. Congratulations to everyone. That does conclude our ceremony. Uh, a couple of notes before we leave. There will be photo opportunity for all the paramedics and crew chiefs who would like to get photos uh, with the Director in Chief and uh, Associate uh, and Doctor. Uh, in addition, for the friends and family of everyone, outside there will be refreshments on the table. So thank you for coming and congratulations.